The most about the car is the handling, how the Proton chassis uh, basically is uh, so suited uh, basically for circuit driving. So it's very impressive being a, a road-based car, all right, for it to be driven hard, fast on the circuit. Proton R3 race cars, they all start out their life uh, in the factory, just the same as any other road car that Proton builds. So they are not specially made for us for the purpose of racing, but we will take that road car and we will build the race car from that platform. We start off by studying the car on the 3D drawings, so we know where the suspension mountings are, we know the dimensions, we know where we can lighten the car and where we need to make modifications for safety. So those are the first steps we, we do on paper and when we do get the, the actual car, we'll break down the car to the basic uh, components because in racing, we like to keep things as simple as possible and we work up from there looking at the components we need and we usually have to build them from scratch as, as we can't buy these components since uh, we are the ones who develop the race cars. All those positive elements of the car transfers to the race car as well and when we're finally satisfied, we will, we will then actually hit the real racetrack and then the process starts again from there. One of the most important and also probably one of the most uh, visible items in the race car is the roll cage. So the roll cage is, um, does a few things. One, it helps to strengthen additional strength to the structure of the chassis of the car and the most important job is to protect the race driver in the event of a crash or a rollover. And then we have the, the Hans rated um, racing harnesses. So it's a six point harness and we have adjusted the driving position as well for the best weight balance. So you can see that everything's been swimmed out, everything can be seen. So if we have any problems or any issues, we can troubleshoot and fix problems very easily in the race car. So we like to keep it as simple as we can. The systems that we use have telemetry as well as uh, data logging. So after the race or during testing, engineers can look at the data and can study what's happening in the whole car based on the sensors that we've installed. Uh, we've put it all the functions, you know, even things like the high beam, the normal beam, uh, fuel pumps, uh, even signals and hazard lights all done here. So everything is simple, easily reached by the driver to do all the things that he needs to do during the race. You know, with the Iris and the Saga being such a capable road cars, that translate very well into, into race cars, it makes our job easier. Nobody has ever prepared uh, the car worldwide. So uh, R3 prepared the car in a short span of time. It came out from the box uh, immediately competitive, but having said that, we at R3, we are always pushing for the car to be better.